Okay, now, when I was on holiday, went to the market, they had the old uh, find the lady. They were cheating. They were using four cards instead of the traditional three. And um, what they did, they hid the red card in the middle using the three black cards. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though, as I'm not a cheat, I will get rid of one of the black cards and place it just there, leaving us with uh, red card, two black cards. Okay? Now, in fact, actually, I'm going to make it easier for you. If I take off the top black card and just place it just there, and for you, I'm going to take off the bottom black card and place it on there. Where's the red card? In my hand? No, sorry. Look, you lose. Um, it's actually back in the top pocket. Okay. Now, where's the red card? Under my hand. Should we turn over to show everybody? It's under our hands. Unfortunately, you could have picked any one of these cards <laughs> and it would have been there. Now, it's not a lot of money, but I want to tell you a little story about these two coins. Um, you know what they are? A, a two and a ten p. Now, when I very first started magic, one of the tricks I wanted to know was how they produce money from nowhere. So what I learned to do was take one of the coins like this. And what I did was, if you want to do magic, place it in the top pocket. There's a secret thing that goes all the way down there, back to the hand, which makes it jump back. Which so I thought, well, no, that's not bad. Not bad. How about for the clever people that say, well, you've got a secret pocket that goes all the way back to your hand. I said, well, well what I'll do this time is I'll place it into my back pocket, right out of the way. Again, click the fingers and went like that and it was back. So we'll take the two out. This time, definitely, we're just going to place that under there like this. Okay, how many coins should be on my hand? One. No, you missed the check, you've, uh, we'll, we'll just say again, so. Inside there should be a silver coin. Is that still your coin? Yeah, it is. Okay, now here comes five. You can't see in there for you. So, now I like to work with couples. Do you know some of you met on the first date? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, just get you to touch any cards you like. That one, if you'd like to slide it out. Yes, please. And there's large letters right across the face. If you can just write your name there, please. You might take too long, don't you worry about that. There we go. <coughs> okay, if you'd like to place the card back on top. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. In fact, do a little bit of a. Do you know what this is called? Showing off. <laughs> now, what are you doing? Just, just so this is totally a random choice, I'm going to take the top card. See, it's random because I could have picked any card in the pack. I didn't, I picked the top one. Making it random. In fact, I, <laughs> I don't want you to sign I don't want you to sign the, I don't want you to sign the front because we've already got a front sign card. What I'm going to get you to do is actually just to sign right across the back from his big letters. There we go. Okay, now if we take your card, if, in fact, can you just say stop? Stop. There? Yeah. Okay, place the card in there like that. Now, you can see the signatures on the back, yeah? Yeah. Okay, place the card there. Again, this is where the secret shadow of mystery comes in. <coughs> if I wave my hand over, did you see what happened? <laughs> no. Well, basically what happened is, is the signature vanished and reappeared again. <laughs> what? I'll tell you what, look. That's definitely still your card, yeah? Okay, can you just turn the card over and show everybody else the other side? Is that your signature on the other no, side? If you can give me a number between 10 and 20, please. Uh, yep. 13. 13. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, to make this number random, we're going to add the two digits together. 3 and 1 is. Okay, 1, 2, 3. This is the card we're going to use. I'm not going to look at the card, so. Okay? 
Okay, now, just by giving it a little flick like this, I can work out exactly what your card is. I know what your card is now. Okay, it's an ace. So A, C, E, spades. S, P, A, D, E, S. The ace of spades, is that right? <laughs> Step further because aces is about ace, and you've got all the aces. Spades, you've got all the spades. And the one last thing one, two, three, four. The end of the trick, you can't get better than a royal flush.